Pop into the referee's changing room for a chat with the match officials, and certainly the ref is going to take no nonsense. He's a true hardliner. Keep an eye on the touchline, it promises to be pyrotechnic down there. Football match should be good, but that dust up, well, I'd pay a big subscription to watch that. That's a great sense of expectation inside this vast stadium. The crowd close to the pitch, makes for a good atmosphere. Dealt with the threat well. Pepe. Petit. Paulo Ferreira. Nuno Gomes. Deco. Here they come once more. Clear. Pumps it long. Good clearing header. And he has it back. Arda Tura. Lovely ball. Chance here. Intercepted a through pass and it's cleared to safety. And Embry. Ball still loose. Oh, down he goes. I'm not sure about that. The referee's bought it. Penalty given. Good decision by the ref too, I think. He got nowhere near the ball and caught the man. He's placed the ball on the spot and all is set. The distance to the goal is short, but it's not easy to convert. The keeper really had no chance with that. It was expertly taken. He showed us exactly how to take a penalty. Kept cool and calmly dispatched it into the net. You could hear the voices of anger and discontent as soon as that one went in. The fans not hiding their feelings here. They've taken the lead here, 1-0. The manager will definitely not be happy to see his team go behind at this point in the game. His team will want to score next, though. Get themselves back on level terms, or I can see them falling behind even further. They need something desperately now. That's a foul. So, a free kick opportunity. It's a long way out to be having a go at goal. Defender quick to see this one. Arda Tura. Another chance to cross. 
Sends it to the middle. Nuno Gomes. Pumps it forward. Pass. That's just a bit too much weight on it. gone in the first half well, as they so rightly say as long as you have penalized for that challenge splits the defense hits it well that sails wide at the left post what a bad effort though he showed some impressive acrobatics to get that volley off it would have been a wonderful goal had it been on target. Let's see how this decision can affect the outcome of the game. Deco. Oh, mistimed lunge there. Gives away a free kick. And indeed, it is a yellow card. No hard feelings between the two players, but there was an air of cynicism about the foul. Sabri. Arda Turan. A long-range effort. It's a corner. It's into the centre. The cleared ball gathered in, still a chance here. He cleared. Here's Sabri. The rhythm of this game appreciated by the crowd. The noise level has never been anything other than incessant. Well beaten to the ball there. Petit. Nuno Gomes. Bosingwa. Great ball into space. Here they come again. Pass went astray. Oh, it's low. Their midfielders are dictating the pace of the game at the moment with super possession football. Midway through this first half, and play has settled into a nice pattern. The defender cuts this one out. Petit. Deco. Bosimwa. Space for a shot. Well, it came off the defender there. Drives it to the middle. Gathers the clearance, looks for a gap. Excellent defending there. Nice stretching of the play, pushing forward. Sabri. I don't think we've had a better atmosphere than this for a long, long time. It's the sort of atmosphere that makes the hairs on the back of one's neck stand up and tingle. Ricardo Carvalho, Deco, Pepe, Bosingua, and they bring the ball forward once more, and they're certainly not giving up, but there has to be an end product quickly, or they're out of this game. Nuno Gomes, 
More confidence about the movement of the ball now. Low ball in. Again they come. It's out of play. And that will be a goal kick. Here's Petit. Here's Deco. Bosingwa. The ball being stretched around well enough. The defence is holding firm for now. And maybe reduced to shooting from distance. Here's Petit. And Nuno Gomes. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. And Petit. Now we're seeing some very nice movement and some more incisive passing. The question is, are they good enough to create a goal? All level. Just when we thought they were heading into the break behind, they've come up with a crucial goal to square the match. That's another really well taken goal. He's used his head to good effect. That was a brilliantly guided header. I don't think the keeper had any chance, to be honest. You wouldn't expect any less from the fans. They are delirious after that stunning strike. goals 1-1 one, one the score that goal more than most will definitely please the fans their vocal support had noticeably dropped when they conceded it's a major confidence boost getting the equalizer as soon as that it's in oh despite drawing level they never kept the momentum going and they fall behind yet again that's very poor defending moments after drawing level too you can't blame the manager for looking so disgusted with his defence. They really have let themselves down. They're in front by a goal, 2-1. With that goal they've gone behind, but who knows, there might even be enough time to level matters before the break. They can blame some sloppy defending, not closing down quick enough or high enough. A quick reaction from the keeper there to punch it out. It'll be a corner. <laughs> Who's waiting in the middle? All level, just when we thought they were heading into the break behind, they've come up with a crucial goal to square the match. I guarantee you this, John, if you plant the ball in the right position, this fellow will score with his head all day long, and I mean all day. Not a lot of margin for error out there. Standards very high. And it's a time just caught him. Interesting to see how much stoppage time. There's the answer. Two minutes. It's not a lot. Petit. Here's Quaresma. Here's Paulo Ferreira. Through to the flank. The unstoppable force in possession yet again. The keeper tidies up. There's the end of the first half. Some of the players look exhausted already. The pace has been so quick. They'll be glad to go in for a rest, I'm at. The second half, the business end of a football match. And that's what we're into now. Parity. That's the word to describe this as the second half gets underway. 
And the substitutes not yet called upon. They're itching to get on, though. Needs to be accurate. The atmosphere inside this ground bordering on the frenetic. And the fielders are dictating the pace of the game at the moment with super possession football. Turns defence into attack there. Cristiano Ronaldo. Won the ball well. Deco. And that's a good run. This is a good overlap. Here they come once more. Sabri. Moving the ball beautifully all around the pitch. Really slick football like this, it's a joy to watch, especially for the neutrals. They just don't want to be on the receiving end of it, though. It's chin on the floor time, they're behind and they are reeling. What a goal. That's definitely one for the DVD collection. The cross came in at the perfect height, but look at how well he got hold of it, putting plenty of power into the volley. He really is coming up with the goods here. He's working incredibly hard, and he's been rewarded with a couple of goals to his name. The scoreline reads 3-2. Last, they've got the breakthrough we feared. The defence has been split open yet again, and this time it could prove to be a fatal goal conceded. Vigo! Well saved by the keeper and then swept away by the defender. Maybe I'm being too harsh, but I think he could have caught that. And the attack here. And Petit. Here's Deco. A clean take by the keeper. Comes off his line and makes it his. Here's Ricardo Carvalho. And Paulo Ferreira. Here's Ricardo Carvalho. Approaching the hour mark. Well worked to win possession. Nice ball out to the wing. Nowhere near the ball, foul given. Quaresma. Petit. And already, you know, the crowd at fever pitch, lending so much to the spectacle. Always level high from the start, and so much colour around this stadium as well. The vivid colours of both sides on display in every corner of the stadium. Nice movement off the ball, the passes are sticking as well. It's good football. Very promising indeed. Vital touch by the keeper. They've scored! Oh, you can sense the tension easing among the players now, they've got a two-goal cushion. Something about this keeper, John. I've heard he's having an operation to have his hands sewn back on. What a stumer that is. Good goal, mind. Chanting of the crowd, so many of them on their feet. It's 
giving this a unique flavour. Header! They're back in the frame now. Well, quite simple, this is just smashed into the middle of the goal. Absolutely unstoppable. He's had a field day against this defence. Not only has he created a number of chances, he's managed to score two himself. This has been one game with plenty of goals at both ends. Their midfielders are dictating the pace of the game at the moment with super possession football. They've broken free on the wing. And the volley! Again they come. Will he find the target now? Quaresma! It's past the keeper again! Oh, a remarkable five minutes. Two strikes in quick succession, leaving the opposition dumbfounded. Do you know what, John? Straight down the middle of the goal. But where was the keeper? This shouldn't happen. Strikers from both sides must be elated, and still there could be more. I can tell you now the fans are going ballistic. This is a sensational time to score. They'll surely now draw on their great support and drive forward. What a match this has become. Quaresma. Petit. Well won there. Deco. We're almost in the final quarter of an hour. Again they build. Pressure on the opposition now, they throw in in a dangerous area. It seems some fresh legs will be introduced here. Here they come once more. They got a throw in. Another chance to cross. Has gone for the offside. One thing I would point out: they are playing with a high line. They're pushing up constantly, looking for the offside. There's always the chance they'll be caught out. Here's Deco. Pepe. Bosimwa. Here's Deco. Fullback getting forward well. Though they have a platform, he's in behind the defence here. Knocks it out to the flank. Really stopped in his tracks there. Nuno Gomez. Cristiano Ronaldo. They get the ball back. And back it goes from where it's just come. You can see some space opening up here. No way through. Cristiano Ronaldo. Some players warming up now on the touchline. The rhythm of this game appreciated by the crowd. The noise level has never been anything other than incessant. Here's Petit. There goes down, but play on is the shout. Possession gained. Pepe and Petit. Good tackle. Not a good challenge at all. Free kick given. Let's see how this decision can affect the outcome of the game. 
scores are level, and all that remains on the clock is a mere five minutes. Can anyone get the game winner here? And he chooses the option of the back pass. Here's Nuno Gomez. In terms of the midfield contest, you could write a textbook on what we've seen today. Here's Deco. Only one minute to be added. Petit. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Gomez, Simao. The game ends all square, no winner, so now we must go into extra time and it really is anyone's guess, you know, as to who can come up with a winner here. It is Jed. Extra time kicks off, managers on both sides urging their players on for the breakthrough. Can they provide it and then hang on for the win? Here's Figo, here's Paulo Ferreira. Into the box. The sheer weight of defensive numbers sorted that out. Arda Turan. I don't think we've had a better atmosphere than this for a long, long time. It's the sort of atmosphere that makes the hairs on the back of one's neck stand up and tingle. Sabri. They're breaking free down the flank. Cross not the most accurate. Nuno Gomez. And here they come again. What now? It's a very, very good challenge. Had to be perfectly timed. And Paulo Pereira. Here's Simar. Here's Paulo Pereira. Oh, and it was such an inviting ball in. Just demanded a finish. Figo. On the volley! There it is! That breaks the deadlock and completes the comeback. It's down to wonderful determination and huge team spirit. Tell you what, John, remind this fella, don't catch my wages because he can't. He's absolutely hopeless. What a mistake. Amazing, nine goals, a cliffhanger. Arda Tura. Here's Sabri. Knocks it out to the wing. Free kick given by the referee. This substitution is their second of the game. No surprise really that he's coming on. He seems to be way off form in my opinion. I don't think he's too happy with himself either. Nuno Gomez. Again they come. Crosses towards the centre. And maybe now. Good save. Goalkeeper anticipated it well. They 
they decide to use their last permitted substitution here. Well, he's been taken off, he can't have any complaints about it. He wasn't having the best of days out there. Referee blows his whistle and looks relieved, he's got a couple of minutes breather. Half-time in extra time, one side in front. The second period of extra time underway, penalties looming at this stage. Surely it'll be more satisfactory to decide the issue without recourse to spot kicks. And Sabri. And back it goes, whence it came. Read that well. Simão. Paulo Ferreira. Ricardo Carvalho. Vital interception in his own box. Can he find the space? It's a save. Sloppy goalkeeping there. He's got his defence to thank that it's only a corner. It's up for the aerial challenge. They give away possession. Tries to slice open the defence. Here comes the secondary threat. Lunged in there and gave away a free kick. The referee shows him the yellow card. Didn't go for the ball, just took the player out. Might consider himself a tad lucky not to see red. Ideal distance out, real possibilities here. Not a good challenge at all. Free kick given. Bosingwa. Raul Mereles. Paulo Ferreira. Raul Mereles. Sends the ball wide. Showed his quality in defence there with that interception. Petit. Cristiano Ronaldo. Sabri. Raul Mereles. I'm seeing a very slow build-up each time as they're always working the ball around in midfield. Still, at least that maintains possession. at his watch, only a few seconds left here. Oh, it's there, what drama, what an ending. Only minutes separating them from victory, but they've managed to throw it away. I'm sure he'll go over to thank him for the assist. A magnificent one it was as well. He made sure the striker was onside before sliding it through the defence for an easy finish. You could tell that he wanted that so badly. As soon as he scored his second, I'm sure he was already thinking ahead to the hat-trick. Carvalho, Simão, Nuno Gomes. Solid defending. The whistle goes, extra time is over. There are many tired legs out there. Who is going to hold their nerve now in this penalty shootout? It doesn't matter how many times you've been in a penalty shootout, even the most experienced of players can crumble under the intense pressure.
His job to get their five penalties off to a good start. Will he find the net? He saved it, amazing. Not the best taken penalty you'll ever see, but still credit to the keeper for saving it. Into the middle. And it's the dead ball specialist. He very rarely misses. He put it high over the bar. He's completely skied it. He went for power, but couldn't keep it down. Denied by the post, and the keeper looks relieved. Just inside the post, and he would have had the keeper beaten, but really it was poorly executed and pushed wide of the target. Ah, he's missed. Oh, my goodness, John. He's completely missed the target. Even you would have hit it from there. He miskicked it. He's gone for the corner, which is fair enough, but it's a horrible mistake when you can't even hit the target. Still got nowhere near it. He's one of the very best penalty takers in the business. Will he show why and be straight down the middle? Finds a net and it's a well-taken penalty. Great accuracy on the shot. Incredible save and that's the match. That's decided the game. It is the harshest of ways to lose a football match. I think in many ways with penalty shootouts, the team that loses, it's a brutal way to finish, but it is the rule.